It's important for any rural community to have access to health care. Having any physician here who is committed to the community and really plans to stay here, you know, is a dream come true. We're a long ways from anywhere where we can get exotic tests. When you practice up here, you have to, first of all, have a good knowledge base. Second of all, you have to be interested in people. Third of all, you have to be able to practice with some uncertainty. Dr. Daly has been available for house calls. People come to his house with cuts and um, rashes and illnesses, and he will get up in the middle of the night and provide that care, and he wants his successor to be willing to do the same kind of work. He also wants to retire in the community, and he wants to have his new doctor be someone that he trusts and feels confident about, and Tommy is that doctor. Hi. Hi. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm doing well. Dr. Sabarito. It's really just the constant availability to your community. When you're in a setting like this, you are the doctor. If it's after hours, the expectation is they have a doctor who is there for them. The way medicine is evolving, there are very few people who are dedicated enough to want to be a family practitioner where they do uh, primary care for everybody from the cradle to the grave. I'm going to go over and see Schroeder. Dr. Daly has been my role model and shown me what it looks like on a very real and practical basis to work and care for patients in a setting like this. You're more likely to be asked to work in the clinic and in the emergency room and in the hospital you might make house calls. You know your community, everyone knows you. You'll see them in line at the grocery store. It is very difficult to recruit into a rural community. It just takes that special provider that's really engaged in the community, wants to do it. People die of um, heart attacks and strokes and chronic lung disease and unintended a um, accidents at a higher rate at an earlier age. Having your first job out of residency being in a rural setting like this without the resources that we see at UC Davis in the emergency room, right? It will be an ongoing challenge, but it's one that I welcome. It's one that I feel like I've been uh, trained well enough to handle the unknowns. Having been at UC Davis, he has soaked up every opportunity to learn from specialists here and take that knowledge forward. Tommy has the ability to thrive in an environment where resources are going to be limited. He won't have access to specialist care and he um, will make the most of it and enjoy every second of it. I think he's going to be a real asset to our community and I uh, hope he stays here for a long time. It feels great to know that we are able to train people um, who can give a gift of themselves and their deep understanding and love of medicine uh, to a community in need. And we're incredibly proud of him and look forward to continuing to collaborate with him over the years to come.